Welcome to Runs on Radix, another episode today with Root Finance. You guys just launched really exciting times. Welcome, Commodore. Thank you very much, Christoph. Thank you for having me. Uh, no problem, no problem. I wanted to talk to you already for a couple of months. Um, things are going really well for you, I see. Um, why don't you intro us to your new platform? Sure. So basically, Root Finance is a decentralized lending and borrowing platform which enables people to lend assets on a over-collateralized market to earn a passive income or to take a loan against their assets so they can get more exposure and really create the tailor-made strategies for their portfolios. Okay, I'm actually really excited about this and also to show it to our users um, what are the benefits and how to do it. So let's dive right in. Could you guide me through the platform? Sure. As you can see, there are two different um, parts of our platform. So the part where you can supply assets and the part where mm -hmm. you can borrow assets. First of all, to access borrow, of course, you need to supply some assets. Like for instance, yep. uh, XRD, we can supply some XRDs to see how it works. I'm going to do that in a second. But first, could you explain to me, why would I want to borrow assets? Sure, Christoph. So basically... Let's imagine that you have a bunch of XRDs in your portfolio, but yeah. you discovered a new meme coin, for example, HUG, and you want to ape in it. So you want to buy some HUG, but you don't have enough liquidity in that moment. So a lending and borrowing platform like Root gives you the opportunity to supply your XRDs, take out a loan in stable coins, for example, and then you can buy the, the meme coin that you wanted without actually selling your assets. Okay, so I want to supply some XRD now. Can you please guide me through the process? Sure. Mm -hmm. So basically, you have to click on the supply button for XRD. Yes. So you can see that so. the model actually opens and yeah. you can see a bunch of data. And this data is really important to make some analysis to understand also some uh, aspects of lending and borrowing. Like, for example... Yeah. A really important one is uh, the supply APY, actually. So it's the APY mm -hmm. you're going to earn by lending funds to root finance, yep. The, yep. your supply balance. And uh, if you scroll down, there is the maximum LTV. So LTV yep. means loan to value. And that's a really, really important aspect of lending and borrowing in general. Basically, the loan to value LTV means that that is the maximum amount of money you can take out against your collateral. So, for oh, instance, all right, all right. Radix has a 60% LTV. So, if you supply $100 worth of XRDs, you can take out a loan of maximum $60. Okay, but the platform is doing that all for me. I don't need to do anything else. 100%. It's really Okay, so that's pretty easy going then. Um, I'm going to supply it now. Give me one second. Yep. Confirming. Awesome. So I supplied now my first XRD to Root Finance. Fantastic. Um, what is the next step? What can I do now? Sure. Since we have supplied some XRDs, maybe it's a good idea to take a loan in USDC. Okay. I'm going to do that. So uh, my borrow limit is 264. So what would be a safe amount to borrow? I'll uh, take a 50% loan in this mm -hmm. case. Mm -hmm. Going to do about 50%. Again, yep. the platform is doing everything for me. It's super convenient. I don't need to. I don't need to take care of anything. Everything is done automatically. So uh, one second. Um, I'm going to click borrow. And. I'm getting 135 USDC. Perfect. So, and that's it. Okay, now I got some USDC. What do I do with them? Yeah, we were saying that you have just discovered a new nice meme coin and you really want to ape in it. So, now that you have not sold your XRD's holdings, but yeah. you have taken a loan against your XRDs and you have new mm -hmm. fresh liquidity, you can actually buy that meme coin. So you can go to a so an X without like, impacting my holdings, basically. So exactly. I'm going to go to OC swap. Yep. And I'm going to swap 
some USDC for, we said, uh, let's say hog. Hog is yeah. a good one. So I'm going to update quickly so it takes from the correct account. One second. So I have now 166 USDC. This is the ones that I borrowed before. And I can trade them for some hog. Yeah. One second. And there you go. Now I bought hug without spending any of my XRDs or just a minimal amount for transaction fees. Exactly. Awesome. So what's the point now? Um, all of it, okay, I bought, I borrowed. And why would someone want to use this? So basically, you can use lending and borrowing for a lot of purposes, uh -huh. but this is the most important one. So uh -huh. many people have a specific type of portfolio. They manage, they already manage their assets, but many times, especially during a bull run, new coins come out. Mm -hmm. There are new possibilities. In DeFi, you can see that there are a lot of uh, new uh, yield possibilities, like you can provide liquidity to a DEX, a lot of stuff. And instead of selling your assets, you can basically supply your assets as a collateral or root and take out a loan to access a new variety of uh, possibilities and ways to earn money. And that's actually how rich get richer. You know, like Elon Musk never sells his Tesla stocks. He yeah. just collateralizes it in a bank and the bank gives out a loan to Elon Musk to buy Twitter, to make uh, a new rocket and all mm -hmm. this kind of stuff. And that's really what root finance is uh, is for so basically you don't have to sell anymore your assets you can just supply your assets take out a loan and really make tailor-made strategies depending on the market period and all the possibilities that you can find on the radix DeFi. all right thanks for explaining borrow and lend to me now it makes a lot more sense and it's actually pretty easy to use it just you just gotta keep your um let's say borrow power under uh, surveillance and make sure that everything is clean there and you're not getting too risky but sure. other than that so to wrap this up what's on the plate for root finance a lot of things are on the plate man so basically in the next period we're going to focus on reaching the 1 million tvl cornerstone which is really important and then we are going to start with the onboarding campaign of evm users since we mm -hmm. really believe that Radix is a an amazing place with a lot of opportunities and we are going to do the EBM onboarding campaign with also the root points yeah. incentivization program which is going to be amazing yeah. and uh, yeah we are going also to collab to make a lot of collaborations with uh, other depths of Radix we are already yeah. we are already doing that like with Hug for example you can lend your Hug and earn already proof of Hug and we just want to become really a a, a place where all the depths of Radix are linked and connected. Mm -hmm. Sounds really awesome. So thank you for your time, joining in, showing me everything, explaining Borrowland. I think a lot of people are going to use this knowledge to their benefit. Really awesome. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Thank you very much, Christoph. Have a nice day.